of the auto gyro. He's been flying for 40 years. He's been flying gyro planes, auto gyros, gyrocopters for 28 of them. He's been displaying them for 30 years now. And he's taken his own to the Organization Evaluator. He's displayed many major air shows, including lights of the big trade shows at Farnborough and Paris. He's displayed the world's largest aviation event, the EAA Air Venture Show at Osh and he also instructs other gyroplane instructors. Now the thing above all to remember while you watch this is that this is not a helicopter. The rotor blade you can see atop the Caledus here isn't being driven by the engine. It's windmilling, thanks purely to airflow. The propeller on the back is being driven by the 150 horsepower Rotax 914 engine. And this is one of the most popular types of auto gyro there has ever been the calendars, a German design from 2009. More than a thousand of them have been sold worldwide and it really is easy to see why. It's a practical tourer with an adjustable seat and cockpit heating. to also consider as you watch the autogyro going through its paces is the is the fact that this was a type of flying machine that was created such that it was impossible to store. It's capable of a speed range of between 0 and 120 miles an hour. Strong head wind. People would be able to demonstrate how it's possible. 
ball to hover or fly backwards. We don't quite have that today, but nonetheless, he has given you an idea of what is capable of at very slow speeds. When you think of auto gyros, I'm sure many of you will think of the Wallace auto gyros developed by the late Wing Commander Ken Wallace and most famously used in the James Bond film, you only live twice. Well, ones such as the Calidus are rather different in design, if not in concept. You can see it got this enclosed cockpit, which the Wallace machines certainly didn't have. They were rather more vestigial. Nonetheless, the basic principles remain very much the same. Like a lot of fun to fly. 